In this module, we will cover the other features and options you may find useful in 2020 design. The first one that we will cover is the display setting tabs along the bottom of the screen. All of these are customizable, however, five have already been preset. Along the bottom, we have all, all with no dimensions, cabinets only, countertops only, architecture, and then we have some user ones that we can also adjust. To adjust these is a simple process. Simply right click, choose display settings, and you'll be presented with a dialog box. In the dialog box, when we expand the items, you can simply uncheck these and recheck them accordingly to your requirements. So I might want all of those on, or I might just want some ceiling decorations, etc. If I apply it, you'll note that some of our lighting and some of the accessories have disappeared. If I also want, I can remove the dimensions from this plan. Um, I might also want the placement zone to disappear, so in which case you'll note that the dimensions also disappear. I can also remove the labels. As again, a simple process. Uncheck, choose apply. Once finished, we can actually save this as a scheme, so I can apply it to other drawings in the future if I wish. You can apply a logical name to your setting. I won't in this case. Just choose OK. Just zoom in to make it a little clearer. You can also rename the tab by simply double clicking and entering a name. In this case I've just called it General. From time to time you may need to put notes on your drawings. This is once more a simple process. Simply choose Draw, Add Note and we can type in a note. Once you have typed it in, you can simply choose OK. Occasionally we may also need to add leaders to this. Once more, this can be done using the draw, add a line, simply pick two points. You may choose to edit and add an arrowhead if you wish. This can be used to highlight specific features in your design. We can also add notes with tags. Once more, choose Draw a Note, simply place it on the screen and add the text. Once you've typed it in, simply add a tag number, for instance 1, choose OK, and we can apply the tag to a position on the art cabinets or whatever place you want. Note that the 1 and 1 will reference each other. This can be useful if you need to identify special cabinets that require additional costings. Another powerful function of 2020 design is the undo and redo functions. If we, for instance, wanted to undo, we can simply go back to a certain point in time and select that. We can also use the redo to go through. I can also go right back to the very end and remove all the items entered. If I wish, I may also need to apply some special dimensions to my design. Ones that can, can be useful are point to line, so I can choose a specific point and a line and it will draw the dimension accordingly. The other one that I can use is line to line. So I can place line and it will also dimension. As with all Windows applications, it is good practice to save your files on a regular basis. This can be done using the save icon or choosing file and save. Or if I choose save as, I'll be presented with a dialog box and I can enter in a name. Once I've entered in the information, I simply save. By saving the file with a descriptive name, it is quite easy to find again if the client should come back and you need to do some changes, or if you have to email it to someone else. Another powerful aspect of 2020 design is the help functions. And whilst the team here at the Laminex IT Bureau can assist you with any inquiry you may have, you may also choose to get help from the online help functions available. Just simply choose help, select contents and index, and you'll be presented with the help screen. 
Here you can see 2020 in action with dynamic presentations of each selection you may choose. For instance, Hide a Docker Toolbar will be illustrated with a little movie. You will find that this help function is second to none in the industry. Once finished, you may close and go back to 2020 itself. This has covered the majority of the tools and functions available to you in 2020 design. In the final tutorial, we will cover pricing.